So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Taurus 2023 upgraded mag aramid fiber case for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, I know it's a little bit of a long name, but we'll just call it the Taurus aramid for now because as far as I know, this is the only one that came out in 2023 that is the aramid case. So this we'll just call the Taurus aramid. Now, a little bit about it. It says that no scratched, no discolored, no chipped off. It's made from 600D aramid fiber, which there are two layers of coating on the top of the aramid fiber that not only give you comfort touch feelings, but also prevent color fading and daily scratches. Also, it is upgraded by 50%. They're saying it went from 13N to 17N magnets, and it's made up of 50 pieces of N52 super strong magnets. Now, the drop protection did get increased from 10 to 15 feet, and it has metal smooth secure grip buttons and perfect compatibility and responsive support. So let's go ahead and get into the box and take a look at the case. Now around here you do just get Taurus case for smartphones, simple but unique. On the back you don't get too much information. It does say worry-free quality products, worldwide happy users, and 10 plus years concentration. So let's take a look at the inside of the box and what all you get with it. Put this to the side. And the first thing you're greeted with is your replacement buttons. Now you do get purple buttons here, as well as silver buttons. These are pretty easy to get on and off. It gives you a little bit of an instruction guide right here to show you how to do it. Uh, I'm not gonna be changing the buttons because I actually really do like the buttons that come with it, but you get a little bit of a color option, so that's nice. And also you do get this little bit of a card that this thing kind of pushes out and you can activate your warranty on that. So let's take a look at the case itself. Now to unwrap it and take this little paper off, we'll start off with the inside of the case. Now on the inside of the case, you do get your MagSafe magnets as well as your alignment magnet. It says designed by Taurus and powered by Mega Mag. And on the edges, you get these little divots all around the inside of the case, which those are all of your shock absorption material. You can see it lining around all the way around, except where you have cutouts and buttons, obviously. And right here, you do get a little bit of a lanyard hole. If you decide to throw a lanyard on it, it does not come with it, though. So that's something to note. And on the inside, you get that little bit of a textured Aramid 600D Kevlar material. So that's a very nice touch. And this little bit of a soft lining around the inside where your camera would be. And taking a look at the back of the case, you get a little bit of a smooth back. There's not too much texture on here. Uh, it says that it's anti-scratching, but I guess when you run your fingernail a little bit on it, you can kind of see the scratches. But if you just rub them off, or if you were to grab, for example, a microfiber cleaning cloth and just rub that off, they come right out. So what they say really does show on the case itself. And let's go ahead and throw the Space Black iPhone 14 Pro Max in, and we'll take a look around the case. So first you get a very nice click, satisfying click in there. And starting off with the left side of the phone, you do get your mute toggle switch. It's a little deep in there, so you gotta kind of reach, but the cutout is pretty wide, so it's pretty good. You get your volume up and down buttons and a little bit of Taurus branding. Now for those buttons, a quick side note, they are really clicky. If you can hear them, Very good sound, very good click. However, they do rattle just a little bit. Now, I'm not sure if that's just my case or if that's all of them. I haven't watched any reviews on this case just yet, but if you can hear a little bit of the shaking, you can kind of hear those buttons rattle. I hope that came through on camera, but that is something to note about the buttons on here. However, it's not very noticeable. You have to really listen to it. It is something to note though. But moving along, on the bottom, you do have your accurate speaker and microphone cutouts, as well as your lightning cable. And on the right side, that little lanyard cutout, like I said, it does not come with it, but if you'd like to put one in, you're more than welcome to. There is that spot. And the rest of it is closed, except for your button, of course, it's right there and the top is completely closed as well. Now, taking a look at the camera bump itself, we can see that there is ample 
amount of camera protection here. I mean, you don't have to ever worry about anything touching your camera. There is a solid amount right there that you can see. So you're more than welcome to go ahead and set this down. You'll have no issues of anything scratching your camera. And one thing about that camera bump that I did want to note that I like is right here, it's, it's pretty smooth going up off onto the camera bump. I really like that. So when your finger is here or anything like that, if you're ever you know, holding your phone, it's not very sharp right there. So that's really nice. And I think it adds a little bit of aesthetic to the case. So that looks good. Whereas down here, it's just kind of flat and rises right up. So that, like I said, camera protection, very good. And looking at your screen protection, you do get a decent lip right there. So you are able to set this down if you're outside or anything like that. On a flat surface, you'll be good to go. There's a good bit of a lip, so I don't think you should have much of an issue there. Now, coming around to see how it fits on the case, around your buttons, you are a little bit loose, but don't forget, these buttons come out. So it's not uncommon to see a little bit of give here, especially because you gotta be able to push these out and push these new buttons in. Now, moving down, I mean, no give. It is very, very stiff on here all the way towards the bottom of the case. Now on the bottom by your lightning port, you are gonna get a little bit of give as well as on the top, but that's expected. That's just about any case. And other than that, I mean, you've got a great fit on here. Nice satisfying click for the corners. If you can hear that. Very good click, good feel. Now, as far as it in the hand, it is a little bit thicker than I would like it to be. Um, no issues with it. It very much reminds me of like the thickness of a case to five case or something like that. But me, I'm a little bit more on the minimalist side of things. So something like the Banks Airman Pro for me, that or Banks Armor Pro, excuse me, for me is like the perfect thickness of a case like this. But either way, you know, this still feels very, very good in the hand. And I think whoever likes it, whether you're a minimalist, you need a little bit of protection, you're gonna really like this. So let's check out the MagSafe on it because that's another plus on this. The MagSafe is very, very good. Now, starting off with our MagSafe test, we're gonna go ahead and start with the Apple MagSafe wallet with just that standard insert that it comes in with. We'll attach it right there, get your MagSafe animation and I always like to push this a little bit with my thumb to mimic it going into your pocket or a purse or anything. And you don't have to worry about your MagSafe wallet coming off unless you're using two fingers. There you go. You know, but other than that, I'm sitting here and pushing it a good bit and it's not really coming off. This has very good MagSafe strength. I mean, I don't think that anybody has to worry, especially if you've got a good car mount and you're driving, you don't have to worry about this coming off your car mount at all. And moving along, I do wanna test two battery packs, one of which being the OtterBox 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack, and the other one being the Apple MagSafe battery pack because this one has the alignment magnet and this one does not. So we'll start off with the Apple one, put it on, get your MagSafe animation, and very strong magnets. You don't have to worry about this coming off. You can sit here and shake it, no issues at all. And moving to the OtterBox one, let's go ahead and turn this on. Got the lights there. And now this one is gonna ride around a little bit on the bottom because there is no alignment magnet, but the top of it is good to go. This is not coming off, so feel free to charge this, put it in your pocket or your purse, no problems at all. And to come further out, we'll take our Anchor 623 and test it out. Let's see if it'll pick up the stand. Now it's doing a really good job. There you go. I just open the stand. I can close it, open it, change the rotation of the phone completely without this coming off. And then even if I take it just like that. So like I said, very good magnets on here. You don't have to worry about this coming off of your car mount or your charging stand anything like that. You can use your battery packs, your MagSafe wallets, any MagSafe accessory with this, and you can absolutely feel free to know that it will not fall off. It is great, great MagSafe, and I think everybody will be able to enjoy a case like this. So to wrap it up, 
This again is the 2023 version of the Taurus Aramid Kevlar 600D case, also known as the Taurus Kevlar. So make sure you guys like, comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this case and subscribe to the channel for more accessory reviews, a lot more videos coming out soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.